So let's get started making our GNOME desktop look like Mac. If you liked what you just saw in the intro, please subscribe to the channel. So open a terminal and type sudo apt install gnome tweak and tweak tool gnome shell extensions and then finally chrome gnome shell. I already have these installed. So now we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to go to white sur gtk theme i have all of these links in the description in the video i downloaded white sur light so we're going to download this and now we're going to show in folder so now what we have to do is we have to create our theme folder okay so we're going to create a folder called dot themes i already have mine created so i'm just going to click cancel and then also do one called dot icons which I also have one of those as well. They are hidden because they have a dot, so if you do control H, you can see all your hidden folders. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to copy this. So I'm gonna do control C to copy and then do control L and type dot themes. So I have a lot of themes in here that I've tried before. So now we're going to paste our zip or our tar file into here and now we're just gonna click extract here. I've already extracted mine, so I can just delete that. So the next one that we're going to get is our macOS cursor. So we're going to go to the next link in the description and we're going to download this file. So once you download this, you'll extract that one to your dot icons. So cursors and icon themes go in your dot icons folder and application themes and shell themes go in your dot themes folder. So put that in the folder. The next one we're going to get is our icon theme. So once you download this one, you should extract this into your dot icons. Next, we're gonna get our shell theme, which is called the White Sur Light. Make sure you download the light version if you want yours to look like the intro and extract that to your dot themes. So now we're gonna go to Gnome Tweaks, which is the app that we installed by running those commands. So now we're gonna head over to appearance and you can see that we've got all of these applications, cursor icons and shell themes. So the first one we're gonna do is applications. So we're going to select White Sur Light. I, of course, have a lot of themes that I've been experimenting with, but we're going to do White Sur Light. Next, we're going to change our cursor to our cursor that we downloaded, which was macOS Big Sur. So you may not notice the difference between the original cursor and this new cursor, but like, for example, when apps are loading, it gives you that macOS spinning rainbow wheel, you know, those little details that remind you of Mac. Next, we're going to change our icons, which are going to be White Sur. So white sir icons, and that will bring us our icons for our folders and also for our app icons. But lastly, we're going to do our shell theme, which is white sir light. So now we are going to change our wallpaper. All of the wallpapers are in the description. I have a Monterey wallpaper and a big sir wallpaper. I'm going to use the Monterey wallpaper. So now we are done with our themes. So we can close GNOME tweaks for now, and now we're going to install some GNOME extensions. Just like last time, all of these links are in the description. So first we're going to search for Unite. And you can click on once you get the extension. So the way to get this extension is there should be a purple pop-up over here that says install the browser extension. You'll just click that, install it, and it'll come up on the top. You can use Chrome or Firefox or, or any web browser that su supports browser extensions. So then once you refresh the page, this will come up and you can just do on. It'll probably ask you to install, but I already have mine installed, just not enabled. What this does is instead of having the date menu in the middle, it squashes everything to the side. What Unite also does is it adds this logo menu here, but this isn't our official logo menu that we're going to be using in this tutorial. So we're going to search for logo menu, and of course it's in the description. Click this one, enable this guy. So now this changes your logo menu. For you, it's probably going to be a different logo. So click on the settings icon and change this. So make sure you click an Apple logo here. We're going to get our compass like Windows effect. So this tutorial isn't about how Mac acts. It's more about how it looks. A compass like magic lamp effect. When we minimize a window, it gives us that cool Mac OS look. And at the start, Sometimes it sometimes it defaults to this and if you want to change that just go to Default and now it looks more like Mac 
The most important thing about Mac is the dock. It's what people recognize as Mac. If we had a dock that didn't look like Mac, but everything else looked like Mac, it wouldn't be very recognizable. So we're going to search for floating dock. I even tried plank dock, which doesn't by default float like this one. So yeah, we're going to enable that. And now we've got a floating dock. So let's go to the settings and let's click on bottom. You may have to restart GNOME a few times in this video. As you can see, my dock is a little bit glitched. So just do Alt F2 and then type R. Sometimes you might have to do Function Alt F2 depending on your keyboard layout. This will only restart GNOME and it will not restart your computer. So next, we are going to fiddle around with some of this. So if you want an icon size limit or something like that, you can change your size. I like this size. It looks pretty good to me. Um, I like to show open windows preview. So what this is, is it's just when you right click on this and you click all windows, it shows that. Right now it's minimized and that can get a little glitchy, but when it's not minimized, it shows the window in here. Next, we're going to head over to our appearance tab and you can click use built-in theme, but that doesn't look like Mac. So we're going to check that off and we're going to click on white to make the dock floating. Now we're going to click on our floating margin and drag it up. So right now, my dock is a little bit glitched, so I'm going to have to restart GNOME again. So I restarted GNOME and the dock is floating again. So when you change the floating margin, this just changes how high up the dock is. If you want a Mac look, then of course make it around... I like to do 7 pixels. So there we go. So now we have our dock. So this is as close as I can currently get to a Mac look. For example, there are some things like the top bar that just aren't completely right and I'm still trying to fix them. I still couldn't find any themes that matched perfectly with Mac, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to create my own shell theme, but the problem is I don't know where to find all of the CSS elements and what they do. For instance, one of the things I'm trying to do is blur the top bar a lot because in Mac, you're not able to see the actual image behind it. It's just a blurred color taken from the wallpaper. So I'm still working on some of those CSS elements, but if you have any other themes and icon themes that you suggest that look more like Mac or ones that you just prefer over this one, feel free to put it in the comments section. So once I finish creating a theme, I will make a new updated video on how to make Ubuntu look like Mac, so stay tuned for that.